much math do you actually need for electrical engineering? Electrical engineers apply math and physics to fields such as power generation and distribution, electronics, telecommunications, and automation. So how much math do they really need to know? In university, double E's need to pass courses in calculus one, two, and three, differential equations, and linear algebra. And in some programs, they also take probability and statistics and numerical analysis. In practice, this math comes in handy when electrical engineers analyze changing voltage and current in AC circuits using differential calculus, or calculating total charge using integration. Double E's use linear algebra to find node voltages and mesh currents in circuits. Double E's use probability and statistics and Fourier transforms in areas like signal processing and communication systems to analyze performance and noise and design error correcting code. This is useful in audio processing, image processing, and communication systems. Vector calculus is used in electromagnetic field theory to design antennas and transmission lines. Last but not least, Laplace transforms are crucial in the design of control systems for electrical systems such as motor control, robotics, and automatic voltage regulation, making these the handiest math tool for double E's in controls and automation. If I left something out, let me know in the comments, and follow Future Chemie for engineering info daily.